Formula One can be a cruel mistress, where dominating a race for almost its entirety means nothing if you can't bring the car across the finish line. Many drivers have snatched defeat from the jaws of victory over the course of more than 60 years of Formula One, and some have lost their first chance at a great result through no fault of their own. In this video, we look at Formula One's greatest near misses. Jordan Grand Prix made their Formula One debut in 1991 with the gorgeous 191 car. At the Belgian Grand Prix, Bertrand Gachot was replaced by a rookie driver by the name of Michael Schumacher, who would drive alongside the experienced Andrea de Cesaris. Schumacher was out after a lap with clutch problems, but de Cesaris carried on and was into the top three by half distance. On lap 31, he outbraked Nelson Piquet to move into second place, and with leader Ayrton Senna suffering gearbox problems, de Cesaris was able to close in on his, and his team's, first ever Formula 1 victory. But, with three laps to go, the Ford V8 in the back of the Jordan exploded, leaving the team empty-handed after a strong showing. Schumacher left the team after that race, and Jordan would not win a race until 1998, where Damon Hill would take victory at Spa, the scene of the great near-miss seven years earlier. Most of 1996 Formula 1 world champion Damon Hill's career seemed to be dogged by appalling luck. From his time at the ailing and cash-strapped Brabham team, which collapsed midway through Hill's first season in Formula 1 in 1992, to an engine failure at Monaco in 1996, where Hill had been comfortably leading at the scene of five of his father's victories. But it was in 1993, when Hill had joined Alain Prost at the all-conquering Williams team, that the bad luck really seemed to ramp up, as the Englishman sought his first race victory. At the French Grand Prix, a botched pit stop for Hill allowed Prost to take the win after Damon had snatched his first Formula 1 pole in qualifying. At the next round at Silverstone, Damon Hill was leading, but his engine failed 17 laps from home. And then, to make it even worse, at the next round in Germany, Hill was leading by 8 seconds at the start of the penultimate lap, only for his left rear tyre to deflate. Fortunately for Damon, the next race in Hungary would be the scene of his breakthrough win, the start of a run of three consecutive victories that would salvage third place in the championship. Luca Badoa can never be described as a lucky driver, having entered 58 Grand Prix, starting 50 of them, over a Formula 1 career that spanned 16 years and contained a total of zero world championship points. But at the 1999 European Grand Prix, that's so nearly changed. Shortly after the start of the race, light rain began to fall, with McLaren's Mika Hakkinen pitting for wets, a decision that would cost him dear as the track quickly dried. Ezzy Irvine, who was in a f championship fight with Hakkinen, would also be removed from contention as Ferrari were ill-prepared for his first stop, which took 48 seconds, costing him valuable points. After this, four victory contenders would fall by the wayside, either by mechanical faults or as a consequence of the returning rain. This left Badoa in a remarkable fourth place in his Minardi, a team where the best days were clearly behind it. But, just 13 laps from home, the gearbox let go, robbing the Italian driver of his first points in Formula 1. He would never get the same chance again. This video was suggested by Craig Johnson. If you have a suggestion for a video, be sure to leave it in the comments. On the screen are two videos I think you might enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. Drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it, and I will see you next time.